Welcome to VBPA Tutorials. I am Vingat. This is part 8 Creating in memory repository. In the previous video, we have seen how to return a complex object response from an endpoint. We have seen that uh, all data creation and manipulation is happening from the controller. It is not a standard thing to do here. So let's move this part to the repository. For that, first we need to create a repository class. Stop. Let's stop the project. And I wanted to create a class here. It is a college repository. This is an in memory repository I'm going to create. This is a static class. And here, public static uh, list of student students that's my in memory repository it will be having by default this data I have a property I'm giving the default data by default it will have two students data and here college repository dot students that's it okay if I want to get the single student and this is a student type return type get student by id and here it is a integer id so here we simply need to do a dot where lambda expression id equal to equal to the id dot first or default that's it it will give us the first record so that we are returning the single student so if we want to get the id we need to get it from the route so here we can define the routing it is id we can also define the data type it is of type integer okay this is how we can create the repository in memory repository and we are going to do the operations whatever uh, crud operations we are going to do we are going to do on top of this for now before going to the entity framework we are going to use this in memory repository okay so this is how we can get all the students this is how we can get a single student by id let's run this So this is a endpoint for all students. I'm executing it. Here I got all the students. And the next endpoint is for single student. I'm clicking on try it. I'm executing it. It is asking for the ID. It is a mandatory. So suppose if I enter the string, it won't execute because we have mentioned here this is of type integer okay that's why it is insisting to enter integer number only i'm entering number two execute we got the second student details this is how we can create in memory repository and we can work on that in the next video we are going to discuss about detailed routing process for more videos like this please like share and subscribe thank you